Hi, I'm Dr. Phaedra, licensed marriage and family therapist and registered horticultural therapist, which means that I get to work in the garden with children and adults and talk about our feelings. Today our feelings are going to be, wow, how delicious is orange soda? I'm here in my garden with Artemis and Athena, my twin girls. Here comes Athena. Hey Athena, you want some orange soda? Yeah. Let's pick a navel orange from this amazing tree. So navel oranges, the way you choose a navel orange is the bigger the navel, the sweeter the orange. And this orange is growing out of this amazing tree that years ago, take a look at this tree, someone chopped it down and it's still growing, it's persevering, it's bountiful, even though it's been chopped down, still wants to grow. So we're so lucky to have this great tree. I have half a glass of water. I'm gonna cut this orange in half. This is gonna be a really sweet one because it's got that big navel. I'm gonna use this amazing lever press, which helps with pressing down the force of the orange and squeezing it into the glass. One more orange. And the recipe is basically half water and half orange and about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda is a leavening agent. When you put it in your cooking, it releases carbon dioxide and it also makes foam, it makes breads rise, and it takes away the acid. It takes away the metallic taste when there's acid. So look at this, it's foaming up. You have your orange soda and take a toast. How is it? Delicious. Here in our garden, we have all sorts of citrus. We have uh, grapefruit, we have kumquats. My neighbor Danzi makes the most delicious jam out of these guys. We have tangerines, satsuma tangerines, Danzi tangerines, and we also have grapefruit and uh, kaffir limes and even finger limes, which are delicious. Out in the garden, we love to try different things and taste all of the fruit and vegetables straight from the garden and today we really had a good time making this delicious orange soda. Cheers. Happy gardening.